Okay, thank you for joining us. Um, this is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network. Beginning right now, we're going to be starting a little bit of a different series in addition to the other Torah and material that I'm blessed to be able to share with you over at TorahAnytime.com. Many people reach out to me on a regular basis with questions on Torah, Hashkafa, Jewish philosophy, life, questions. Baruch Hashem, the hundreds of men that I'm able to learn Torah with on a regular basis via the Jewish Executive Learning Network, they have questions, they ask me and uh, people have been encouraging me to open up a little bit my uh, my mailbox, my inbox so to speak, my, my text messages, my mailbag and share a little bit some of those questions. So we're going to be starting a series now, um, we're, we're just going to call short and sweet. I'm just going to basically answer simple questions that come up on a regular basis that are interesting, just it is what they are, short and sweet. I was asked this question this week and I'm going to try to just share with you every day moving forward in Mir Tzashem, more or less every day. Different questions that come my way. Question is this. Rabbi Bregman, I was asked, why are people so obsessed with sports? What is with the big obsession people have with sports? What's that about? And it's kind of interesting if you stop and think about it because the athletes don't care about you. You could scream at your TV. You could spend a lot of money to go to games. Go wear their jerseys. Trust me, there are pro athletes that are pe people who are professional athletes now. I knew them growing up. I played with them. There's a prominent member of the New York Yankees, even today, that I knew and I played baseball with in high school. They wouldn't look at you. They don't care about you. What are you getting so worked up? And if you think about it, even if a person's team wins, they could be happy, they could be sad, they could cry. There's cities where, where if a team wins, they'll trash the place and destroy it and riot. There's also places where if, if the city, if the team loses, they'll riot. Why is everybody rioting? They won and they lost. And two cities are rioting and trashing the place and destroying it. It's kind of crazy. So what's Pshat? So I saw an answer once from Rav Nossin Vachsvogel Zatzal, who was the original, the, the Mashkiach of the Lakewood Yeshiva. Rav Nossin and the Sefer, the Lekid Rashimas, he says something very deep. He says, why are people so into sports? He says, people are so into sports, he says, because sports are predicated on the notion of war. Sports are based on war. My team, your team, conquering ground, conquering land, and the, perhaps even the most popular sport in America today, football, people talk about it. We're going to war, 60 minutes, that's war. Football is war. We're going to conquer, we're going to conquer territory, this and that. That's how it is. So why are people so drawn to this? They're drawn to sports, said Rav Nassin, and they're drawn to uh, admire athletes, many people, because people naturally understand that a human being is meant to be a soldier and a warrior. A human being is meant to be a fighter and a soldier and a warrior. And said the Mashkiach Rav Nassin, when we see a human being involved in that war mode, in that fighting mode, in that conquering mode, we get turned on when we see a human being in the mode of warrior. And he said that's why people get so excited by sporting events and by, ath and by athletes for that reason. Now, since life, they're not totally wrong, but they're misdirected because life is about fighting and life is about being a warrior. But it, life is about fighting the Eight Sahara and bringing out your potential and passing the Nisyanis, passing the tests and challenges that Kaddish Baruch Hu gives you. That's what life is about. So life is about being a war, a warrior and going to war. But it's about, Yetz, it's about the Eight Sahara. It's about fighting the Eight Sahara and, and basically bringing out your full potential and not. It's not, about, uh, it's, not, it's not about kicking a ball and seeing how far you can throw one. But so when we see people involved in their natural role as a fighter, that's when we get very turned on. So in short, when next time you get excited when you're hearing the news or you're, you're listening to ESPN or whatever you're doing, however you're catching your sports, ask yourself, why am I so interested? The answer is you naturally identify with competition and you naturally identify with an athlete because he's in the role of a fighter that's what life is about. Just remember, you're looking at the heads. Remember, there's a, a tails to it. That itch to identify with the person in that capacity, it's really an itch you have to scratch that you're, wanted, that you're feeling inside of you, but it should be redirected towards spirituality. Anyway, that's a short version, short and sweet, why people are interested in sports.